All right, welcome back. And um, just um, <laughs> showed you highlights. Uh, we couldn't take much of that because um, we, we, we have some other things to talk about. But let's come to the domestic scene, Kunle, and talk about the Globe Premier League. Interesting matches to be played um, this, this weekend. And um, we'll be looking at it. And um, uh, I, I know you're already looking at this and you're looking at some of the fixtures uh, that will be interesting. But, but let me quickly run through uh, these fixtures for you. Sunshine Stars will take on Rangers. Pick of the pack um, for me. Um, uh, Dolphins uh, take on Sharks, Gombe take on Crown, Canopillas take on Abia Warriors, El Kenemi uh, will take on Bielsa United, Nasora will take on Heartland, uh, and these are some of the fixtures. Well, Giwa will take on Warrior Wolves, Aimba take on Taraba, Nembe City uh, takes on Aqua United, and of course Kaduna United take on Lobistas. All matches will be played this weekend, barring any un unforeseen um, circumstances. But um, which of these um, uh, fixtures matches jumps out to you? Yeah. I, I would uh, think Sunshine Rangers. Yeah, Sunshine uh, Rangers are uh, very, very, it's going to be very, very tough and, you know, very exciting. Uh, for, uh, Sunshine, Sunshine Stars, they've, unsettled, they've been, they're a bit unsettled been, yes. with the coaching issues. Yes, they, 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 they've been unsettled with the coaching issues and at the same time, on the field of play, they've not been uh, getting as many Mercy. points uh, as possible. They've actually been uh, struggling uh, even uh, at home and, it, you know, uh, oftentimes, I, I used to say this, is always difficult for the away teams uh, to actually secure homes, uh, victories uh, against the home team. So I think uh, when we talk about this game, I think I want to give it, still give the advantage to uh, Sunshine Stars. In spite uh, of their problems. Yeah, in spite of, 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 of their problems. And also the game between uh, the People's Elephants, uh, Imba Football Club and then FC Taraba. Another game to actually uh, watch out for FC Taraba hasn't been fearing uh, so well. So yeah, they are they've, they've actually in the relegation waters as a speak. For Aimba, they've been doing okay. very well. They are fought on the league lot, and right. they were able to actually secure a draw against okay. all all expectations. Right. A lot of people actually expected okay. uh, that they were going to lose um, against their the, against Abia Warriors uh, because they were playing away. So but those they were two, able to those two. Uh, well, I, I'll be looking out for Dolphins and uh, and Sharks um, as well. All right, let's move on. Let's uh, talk about um, well, not done deals, transfer speculation, and in the news this morning, um, <laughs> Mario Balotelli. Um, nothing that is the young man has said um, goodbye to, to AC Milan, mm -hmm. and, and we hear that Liverpool uh, and Milan have agreed a 16 million pounds uh, mm -hmm. deal, but personal terms are, are being sorted. But, but the interesting one, Kunle, and, and you brought it up this morning um, if Mario Balotelli gets to play for Liverpool, Liverpool are planning to insert a, a clause. Code of conduct. Code of, code of conduct. And yeah. uh, you, you are, you're thinking maybe Suarez taught them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. And Mario Balotelli is likely going to behave like, yeah. if not worse, than Luis Suarez. But, but the news it, it, also... It doesn't bite. It doesn't bite. Okay. It doesn't, okay. <laughs> but, but the news is that it, it, even if the deal goes through, he will not be playing against his old team, Manchester City. Yeah, he, he, would, he wouldn't be playing against um, his club, Manchester City, because the deal is still in the pipeline, and both teams and both parties are working still to sort uh, working to, to sort it out. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, having Balotelli play for Liverpool is a very good one. Coming back uh, to the English um, Premier League, I think it's really very good for him. The last time out well, with Manchester City, he was able to um, score 20 goals uh, in uh, 54 games. And also, remember in 2012, uh, he was the one that actually delivered the pass, okay. uh, which uh, Aguero scored. And of course, City went ahead to win. So it's a All very right. good one for Liverpool. Still trying to fill that and use Suarez perfume. But of course, how well it will fare in the colors of Liverpool. Time will tell. Yeah, okay. time will tell. <laughs> All right. So um, let's move on. Let, let's look at um, what's going to go down this weekend since uh, we're talking about a player likely moving to the English Premier League. Let's look at the English Premier League fixtures. Um, interesting matches to be played um, over the weekend. Aston Villa take on Newcastle. Chelsea take on Leicester uh, City. Crystal Palace uh, yet to name manager after yep. Tony Pulis uh, left. We'll take on West Ham. Southampton will take on uh, West Brom. Swansea uh, will take on Burnley. Uh, a big one. Everton will take on Arsenal. I I'm very sure you talk about that later on. Hull City uh, will take on Stoke. Tottenham will take on Queen's Park Rangers. 
Sunderland will take on Manchester United and of course the big one uh, on Monday night. Manchester City take on Liverpool. Yeah, let, let, let's, let me start from the game uh, between um, Everton and, and um, Arsenal. You know, when both teams play, it's always uh, full of excitement. The, the players are always, um, the fans are always anticipating. And, you know, uh, the way things actually unfolded last season, where uh, Arsenal actually needed the points, uh, you know, against Everton. And going down to Everton, they actually are lost um, scandalously by three goals to nothing. So it promises to be an exciting one. Everton Manchester City Liverpool, uh, Liverpool, quick one. Yeah, it's going to be very uh, tough and, you know, exciting as well. Manchester City have not, they've, they've been very okay. com more convincing uh, than Liverpool for this season. So I think City uh, should be able to navigate their way. All right, let, let us leave England and, and, and um, you know, uh, still remain in Europe and, and some of the leagues have started and we go to the French League, heavy on, we'll take up Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain still uh, worrying about the fitness of Slatan Ibrahimovic and Lyon uh, will take on Lens. and uh, that's the big two yeah. in France. And of course, Bayern Munich start off uh, with Wolfsburg uh, in uh, the German Bundesliga and uh, a lot of injury worries uh, for um, the, the champions and coach Pep Guardiola already complaining uh, about um, his team, saying they might likely get a slow start. Dortmund will take on Bayer Leverkusen. And of course, uh, in Spain, uh, it's all about Barcelona. Not because of their opponents, but we'd like to see how uh, Luis Enrique um, uh, starts, how it changes things around. Uh, in so ba Barcelona take on Elche. And um, uh, in the Dutch League, uh, Nag Breda will take on FC20, um, uh, that's in the uh, Dutch league. And of course, the big one um, uh, is going to be uh, the Venice Champions Ajax with um, PSV and OV. So these are the big matches to, uh, to watch out for uh, in Europe. All right, let's um, look at tennis. Uh, before we came on, we were talking about um, uh, the big guns. Yeah. Uh, Roger Federer, Serena Williams, uh, the likelihood that they may win a title in 2014. And the US Open presents the last chance for them. And the draws uh, ceremony were held. And uh, some of the players had one or two things to say. Uh, well, I guess let's listen to them. Uh, you, you've got to listen to Stanislas Varinka and uh, the ladies' world number one, Serena Williams. We'll take that and we'll come back for more on sports this morning. I think we got enough. Um, it would be great, uh, but I'm just really excited to be competing and to be, to do the best that I can. At the end of the day, I, I always give my best, and um, that's all I can do, and that's all I can ask for. So obviously, I feel really good about my condition, but this is a fresh new week, and I want to feel good these next two weeks, and not just the last few weeks. Yeah, the, I, I love the condition here. It's it's really hot. It's it's tough. It's physical. It's it's humid, and uh, I can really I can really put my game on. And uh, I've been practicing well. I'm 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 really ready for for the weeks, and I'm I'm excited to start here. Yeah, I, f I think uh, I feel that I'm ready. I'm I'm really ready. I'm playing well. I'm physically fit. So so yeah. Uh, now it's it's I still have a few days to 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 rest to be fresh mentally for the beginning. All right, welcome back. And um, Kule, you, you were just about to say something. It, it's surprising that world number one, Serena Williams, um, I didn't believe until I checked that she hasn't won a Grand Slam this year. Yeah. Um, Roger Federer, uh, a, a lot of questions. Will he still be able to win a Grand Slam? But, but, but looking at uh, both players, um, uh, do you still think any of them can, can win a Grand Slam this year? It's, it's hard to bet against Serena Williams, though. Yeah, uh, it's, go, it's really, really going to be very tough for them. I think Serena has fared less uh, this season. Uh, the, she has not been able to get uh, qualified for the final of any of the uh, grand, grand Slams. And, you know, it's so funny, uh, you know, uh, you mean both players have 17 Grand Slam titles uh, in, yeah, the, in their they have a lot in common. A lot, a, a lot in, in common. And they've won, uh, I mean, Federer has won uh, a few so, ATP titles yes, this year. Yes, Serena has won, Serena has won more. Won six. One more WTA titles, titles than anybody on the, on the women's circuit. Absolutely. But she's yet to win a Grand Slam. Yeah, yet to, yet to win a Grand Slam. The last time Serena didn't win a Grand Slam uh, was in 2011. Uh, yeah, uh, she was know, sick. She was sick and, you know, she couldn't actually compete. But she's competing uh, this year, but she's not just getting the results. And some people are saying she's actually spent for She has no, reached no, the twilight no, of no, her no, career. That's no, what no. some uh, pundits are actually saying. But I think I, I disagree with that. I think she has a very, very good chance. Uh, but, you know, the emergence of the younger ones uh, this season, 
Division have actually uh, proven, uh, you know, a lot uh, hard for, uh, you know, Serena Williams. Well, how well she will fare uh, remains to be seen. I think I still feel that she, have a, she has a very, very in good total, chance. In total, she has 62 WTA, WTA titles. Is absolutely. In total. Yes. Uh, no, no, she's not a spend force. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't well, Kulit, well, that's how we wrap things up uh, on the show this morning. We do hope that you've enjoyed everything we've been able to do. Uh, well, we'll leave you with a little of golf, uh, the FedEx tournament. Uh, that's in golf. And I'll let you see how world number one, Rory McIlroy, is struggling in the competition. We do that. Uh, you allow you to see that. And it's bye from here.